Are you serious? Are you serious? President Donald Trump has just tweeted an un- um, no doubt it's going to be a controversial response by the, the media is going to go insane. And really, let's wait and see what the uh, response is across the country. But President Donald Trump has just tweeted that the United States military won't allow transgender people to serve in any capacity. According to this report on Yahoo News, within the hour, just with it less than an hour ago, President Trump announced that the U.S. military would not assent or allow any transgender service members. In a series of tweets, the commander-in-chief argued that too much is at stake in the military's current operations for it to be burdened by the medical cost of transgender people or the disruption, he says, transgender service members would cause. Now, I actually have President Trump's three tweets. He tweeted at 8.55 a.m. this morning, after consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised, that the United States government will not accept or allow, and then he tweeted at 9.04 a.m., transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the United States military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming, and then he tweeted again one minute later, or four minutes later, 9.08 a.m., Victory, overwhelmingly, overwhelming victory, and cannot be burdened with a with the tremendous medical cost and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. Now, here's what the Defense Department website currently says right now. It says, quote, Transgender service members may serve openly. They may not be discharged or separated from the military solely on the basis of their gender identity. As with other major presidential announcements from Trump on Twitter, there will likely be extraordinary backlash to this statement from liberal and moderate circles. All right, so um, this is the breaking news this morning. I know that the President Trump has been in a, um, uh, he's in a very uh, pressure situation as it relates to North Korea. We understand that Kim Jong-un uh, announced this morning that he's ready right now to f- test fire another intercontinental ballistic missile. And... Uh, so there's a lot of pressure on that right now. And I mean serious pressure, folks, if you only understood just how, uh, how critical this is getting. And then we have yesterday's confrontations with Iran. Um, so there's just, I mean... I, we're, I guess what you have to do is you have to understand just how dangerous things are getting. I mean, here's what happened yesterday. According to Reuters, the U.S. Navy ship fired warning shots near an Iranian vessel yesterday. Uh, this was going on all day while Kim Jong-un is saying he's ready to, you know, to fire, a, to fire off an intercontinental ballistic missile that has the nuclear capability. Matter of fact, the U.S. Navy ships fired warning shots when an Iranian vessel in the Gulf came within 150 yards uh, yesterday in the first such incident since President Donald Trump took office in January. The last major incident was earlier in January uh, when President Barack Obama was still in office, though there have been instances when a U.S. vessel fired a flare as well as an event in March when... U.S. Navy ships were forced to change course 
after multiple fast attack vessels from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard came too close. So in a statement, U.S. Naval Forces Central Command said that the patrol craft named Thunderbolt fired the warning shots in in front of an Iranian vessel after it ignored the radio calls, flares, and the ship's whistle. The Iranian vessel was from Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard, the statement said, adding that it stopped its unsafe approach after the warning shots were fired. So U.S. officials are speaking on the condition of anonymity, said the Iranian boat was armed, but that the weapons were unmanned. The Thunderbolt was accompanied by a number of other vessels, including those from the U.S. Coast Guard. So uh, it's just getting very, very intense out there. Uh, We've got the the, the tensions in the Middle East. Iran with their boats threatening our boats. Kim Jong-un threatening to fire off uh, potentially nukes. Uh, There's just so much going on that Trump has decided that the uh, United States military needs to be fully focused on the job of defense. So the Obama, uh, the Obama doctrine, I guess, of uh, pushing the transgender movement, not just only in the military, but in the uh, public school systems and, and other areas, uh, may be starting to feel some resistance now by the new president of the United States. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. But We are truly living in perilous times or dangerous times, exactly as the Bible said it would be like. Give your life to Jesus Christ. That's the answer. Okay, your answer is in nothing else but Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.